about what you're doing here. Great. Um, I am Chris Wells. I'm Director of Policy at the Society for the Protection of New Hampshire Forests. My name is Jack Savage. I'm the VP for Communications at the Forest Society. And we are standing on the shores of Long Pond in Lempster, New Hampshire. Um, and we are here talking today about the Ashwalet River Rivers Headwaters Project in Lempster. Um, it is a society project where we are trying to conserve 1,750 acres of undeveloped forest land here in Lempster uh, that form the headwaters of the Ishwalet River. Uh, the Ishwalet runs through 25 New Hampshire communities to the Connecticut River, including the city of Keene, uh, and provides drinking water to the city of Keene and many surrounding communities. Um, it is one of the largest forest protection projects currently underway in the state of New Hampshire. It is a key connector between uh, existing protected lands in Pillsbury and Sunapee State Parks and also down around the Andorra Forest Easement, Pierce Purse Reservation to the south. So it's a key connector. Uh, it is a high priority for the state of New Hampshire in terms of its wildlife action plan, uh, which is aimed at pre preserving habitat in the state of New Hampshire, uh, and it is also a key recreational resource. And if we're successful in raising the rest of the money to protect this, we need to raise uh, just shy of a million dollars over the next 90 days to make this possible. We've raised a million, we've got a million to go. If we're, if we're successful in doing that, we're going to manage this as a Forest Society reservation. The Forest Society owns and manages 165 such reservations. I think this would be one of the crown jewels, though, in that constellation. Uh, because a, a short hike to the top of Silver Mountain affords uh, anyone views across uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts. It's just a beautiful, beautiful spot that we'd like to protect to make it possible for the people in New Hampshire to enjoy. We're going to be really counting on both residents of, of Lampster and the immediate, immediate towns around here, but also really up and down the Ishwala River Valley, including the city of Keene, um, for people to really set up and contribute contribute to this campaign in this last 90 days if we're going to be able to pull this off. As Jack said, it's it's roughly a $2.1 million project of which $1.1 .1 is in. So we have a million dollars to raise in the next 90 days. And who currently owns the property? Currently, the property is currently owned by the Wright Family Trust. These are um, lands historically owned by the Wright Family of Keene and they've decided to divest of them and uh, given us the opportunity to acquire them and, and permanently protect them. I'd also invite anybody who's interested in this project to come out and uh, see it, uh, specifically on September 26th. Um, we're going to be up there from 10 o'clock till about 4 o'clock that day, um, uh, hosting guided walks up and down Silver Mountain and informing people about uh, what the project's about. So um, look at our website at www.forestsociety.org for details about that and uh, come out and, and check it out.